So when I got this quadcast gaming microphone from HyperX last year, I thought to myself, can you record metal vocals with a gaming microphone? After all, it is a microphone that records sound, so it should be possible, right? And uh, this microphone even has like the different mic patterns on the back, which is pretty cool. Uh, of course, we only need to use the cardioid for this, uh, this test. This tells me that this microphone is slightly more sophisticated than just a normal PC microphone you can find. But this one was never intended to be sung loudly into, so I'm really curious to how it will react, so... Let us put it to the test, shall we? All right, so how you actually record with this microphone may vary depending on your software. But in most cases, if you're using something like OBS Studio, GarageBand, or something simple that doesn't require a separate audio interface, it's just a matter of plugging in the USB cable and you are ready to go. However, if you're using something like Cubase like I am, then it's a slightly different story because Cubase and a lot of other DOS do not support USB microphone by default. And obviously you can't plug a USB cable <laughs> into an XLR microphone input. Ah, fudge tickle. So what I did was that I downloaded something called ASIO for All, which is a free software that creates an ASIO driver for Windows Audio. I will leave a link to that in the description below, as this is a very handy tool for a lot of creators out there. And then I routed the input and output to the microphone, plugged my headphones into the output jack on the back, and voila, I was ready to go. So I've recorded my vocals inside of this Isovox booth right here. Uh, this is basically an acoustically treated box that removes 95% of all reflections in the room and gives you a tight, great sounding recording, which is perfect for this test. Uh, and as I mentioned earlier, I will be using the cardioid pattern on the microphone as I will be singing in through the front. And for the purpose of this video, I will be showing the music segment outside of the box with my pre-recorded vocals as it's kind of tight in there. So, let us see how all of this turned out, shall we? Let's go. I've come to face Well, I'll be damned, <laughs> it actually kind of worked. So I did hear some distortion on certain notes at certain parts, uh, but it was kind of hidden away behind the mix. So let me show it to you right now. I've come to face my mistakes, the fire face, the will to carry on. This is obviously because they designed this microphone to be for speech and not for singing. So when they made the preamp inside, you know, the saturation and the preamp gain and everything was designed around speech. So it would sound as good as possible and as clear as possible at all times. While you do have a volume knob underneath here, uh, the thing is, that's what it is. It's a volume knob, not actually the preamp gain. So when I yell into this microphone and it goes over the threshold they set, of course it will distort. I look at this as a very good thing for the microphone because then obviously they're taking a good care of making your speech sound good, which is the purpose of the microphone. So the fact that there is saturation in this microphone at all is a really good thing, because there's a lot of microphones out there that sounds thin as shit. So for the screaming vocals, the saturation and distortion actually worked quite nice. My and feathers, my soul, only to rise again. I mean, what I recorded here, I think sounded great, and I didn't really have to mix it like more than I would with any other mic. And I usually add some saturation and drive to my screaming vocals anyway, so I got it here from the get-go, which is pretty cool. So in conclusion, would I recommend this microphone to a musician who wants to record himself? No, probably not. But I think it goes without saying that if you want to record pro vocals for your music, you don't buy a gaming microphone. 
and that is absolutely no discredit towards the microphone itself. For the purpose it's built, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, you heard my voice throughout this video through this microphone. Of course, if you just want to mess around a little bit in GarageBand, test some effects and have some fun, this one totally works for that as well. But in streaming and gaming, it's where it truly shines. And also, please don't take this video way too seriously. I just made it as a small, fun little project to see what this microphone could do outside its purpose. But if you did like the song you heard, it's called Reborn Through Failure, and I will release it in its entirety in a few Few weeks which will be my first original song for you guys so that's all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video which is a little different from what i usually do if you did you could leave a like on the video leave a comment what you think and maybe even subscribe if you want to until the next video guys i will see you later bye